Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be drawing the Meg shark. Alexa, what is the Megalodon? Megalodon, meaning big tooth, is an extinct species of mackerel shark that lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was formerly thought to be a member of the family Lamnidae and a close relative of the great white shark. So there you have it. Let's begin. First thing, circle. So a dot in the middle of the page. I'm going to dot out the circle. I'm going to draw a circle side grip. Get your center circle. And then from the circle here, top point, we're going to draw a rectangle. So in the middle here of the circle, draw a triangle. If we follow this up from just below the dot here, draw that out. Try and keep it nice and simple. So we're going for a triangle shape like that. And from here, we've got dot. To dot up here for the shark. So this line is going to go straight up to here. So right here, we're just going to do two little dots. That's going to be the nose of the shark. So we draw the line all the way up to the top and then all the way down to meet this point. So go shape like that. We've got a circle, a triangle, and then maybe a half diagonal, only shaped cut square. From here, mouth goes up. To about here. So I'm just gonna curve it around. And then the teeth track goes here. I'm just going to draw a line that's where essentially the teeth will be. And then he's got, he or she has a fin on the back. So we do this here. Then around here we've got all waves splashing. Just doing a little bit of squiggles. Oh no. See I think you got here like I'm sure you see the fin. We've got a shape and now we need to put some curves into it. So from here, I'm going to make this a bit more curvy. And then this is the mouth. This curves in as well. Like that. And then just rub out the guy one. And then the mouth comes up and curves round. Now he has two tracks of teeth to draw. So I'm going to draw a thin set there. And then from that, the nose is more rounded. Like that. And then the eye comes about here. Put a curve on that, and then that goes up. This comes from here down, it's like to its belly. And 
And this is all its stomach area where it's twisted. There's a lot of texture around. Around here is the teeth again, so curve that a little bit. Add in some teeth. Which I'm going to leave a cap on the top curved. And they're not all close together. They have like gaps in between them. Like this. And they are razor sharp. Then somehow we need to draw in the second set of teeth. So directly underneath them we're going to draw some more teeth. that comes down to about here, so it's the teeth you can see to here. And again the teeth pick up back here. It's curved at the bottom and sharp. Finishes. And these are really Tiny and jagged. So you just want to keep on doubling up the teeth. Nice razor sharp teeth. And then join them up on the side. Curve it down. And around the circle, draw its belly in, and then it goes around the water so you can't see it's all splashes, splashes of the sea, and the waves coming up at the back of it. Some more splashes here, and then it's very choppy, choppy sea. Uh, here I'm going to shade this in dark. Just quickly shade this in. Super speed. Just quickly fast forward this part. Carry on with the tutorial. And then here I'm going to do some markings on the shark itself. The pattern that goes up, big ripple there, markings down here on the skin, and under the belly, all really twisted, broken lines will do. Come round. Under the belly. Just get around these. Off. I'm going to curve them. And here's the fin. There's a lot of splashes here. Lightly shade the belly. And 
dry up. And then under here I'm just going to do some darker, darker shading. Around the throat area. Heavy shading here. And around here. Kind of light here, white, white streaks going through. And around here, it's darker on this. And drag it over like that, and that goes like this. This is where the like eye comes down. So rub your old guidelines out because I'm bringing it a bit closer in now. And make this thin a little bit more sharper. That was wide. Like that. So it's gone a bit narrower the triangle rather than it was before. And then curve it on the back bit. Because his body comes down. And here we've got a lot of splashes, it's, you can't really see out. That choppy sea, water going up there. The eye up a bit more. Darkness around it. some more details into this part of the skin where it's all crumpled up a bit darker here near the near the mouth certainly darker here and like it's ripples on the lip. A bit darker. Then as it comes in here, I think we want to make this a little bit more narrow. So I'm going to bring that down make it shorter like that so I'm just going to take the top off put it and bring his body a bit further down like that makes it a little bit more skinnier then it does still come out and down so it does get a bit wider does come up and the sharp nose is very very long I'm going to extend that a little bit to get a bit more edgy and then it gets darker down that end darkest parts closest to the Still okay, then it's got like shine, shining white parts. Make it a bit darker under it. Have a fin on its side of its arm. Where it nevertheless, it's darker at the top and then fades. It's down like that. It's hard to draw the waves in, really. 
waves going across. And I hope it's like a storm. More. So some that way. Then across the top, we might as well fill the gap and we do some electrical storm. So they just do jagged lines for the lightning bolts some narrower ones at the top little forking off and then I think there's like a, I kind of like a tornado coming this side so I'm going to draw it in anyway why not Nice and narrow at the bottom. And that curves up. Curves into a big old storm. Need to put more curve on it and make it a little narrow that bit. Slim it down at the bottom. That's a tornado coming down. Some rocks in the water. And that is a shark. Pretty much all we can do, really. And I'll leave it at that. That was a shock. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed following along. Until next time, see you again.